everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am announcing the start of a decluttering series that I'm going to be doing. I know I have done a couple of declutters earlier in the year. I did a palette declutter and a concealer declutter, but I'm kind of going to be switching up how I do them. Um, and it's a little bit more of a formal series than just some random declutters every so often. So those two videos I did, um, the concealer one I found really fine, but the, the palette one, when I was filming it and I was actually like filming my actual process of decluttering, I don't know, it was almost a little bit stressful because I had to make all the decisions there in front of the camera. The other day, or this whole week basically, I have spent a lot of time decluttering my collection and I have gone through and really like, I spent hours like every night just sitting there swatching, playing with things, just trying to get familiar with products and really making some really solid decisions. And I've managed to declutter a good chunk of products out of my collection. I'd say probably about a quarter maybe. The reason I, I sort of wanted to change the way I was doing it is that in those videos I felt like if they were either gonna be super long, if I was gonna give you all the information I wanted to give, or they were going to be, I felt like I would have to kind of gloss over maybe why I was getting rid of something, or I just, I don't know, I felt like I wanted to split it out a little bit. And so what I'm gonna do first is a series of declutters so I'll go through um, a different product category or two each video so every fortnight for the next wee while I have these so today we're going to be decluttering powders foundations concealers that sounds like a lot but there's actually not that many from each of these categories and I'll explain in a minute once I've shown you all the products I'm decluttering and why in these declutter videos I'm going to move into like phase two of the series you could say where I'll go through my actual products that are left so it'll be like collection videos that is going to be a really nice way for you guys to see my collection um, but also see the products that I've recently gone no I don't want these in here anymore and I can tell you why once that's all done what I'm going to start doing uh sort of bulk declutter videos so you guys know how I do empties videos every three months um, and that's a chance for me to talk about products that I've used up entirely and whether I'd repurchase it or not but the majority of the products in my empties I feel like quite often they're products I would repurchase because they're ones I love so I've used it all up or at least it's more of a positive review even if I'm not repurchasing something even if I'm not repurchasing it for one reason or another, usually I've liked the product enough to get through it. But I felt like I could do kind of the flip side of that and actually have a video every three months sort of on the off season between the empties of products I'm decluttering. So they're products that I tried a few times um, or perhaps they've sat in my collection for a long time and for some reason or another, they're ones that are leaving my collection. So it's kind of like, in a way a nice um i feel like it nicely complements the empties series it also means that you guys get a nice balance of like um you know favorites videos where i rave about products i'm loving but also you know reviews where i'm talking about things that didn't work for me and why they're going so this is my new process i wanted to take a bit of time to kind of introduce you to the idea at the start of this video and that is why i've chosen probably my smallest declutter category which is powders as well as a couple of foundations and concealers which you might be quite surprised about because you know my foundation collection is big considering I review a lot of them but the reason I don't have many of the foundations in this is because I keep a lot of foundations for swatching purposes um, and because I review foundations I like to have them on hand to be able to compare so that's the reason my foundation collection doesn't ever really get much smaller but there were two that I was like I don't really need these anymore so I'll obviously talk about those and concealers I only have three because I recently did a big concealer declutter earlier in the year as you saw these were some that came into my collection sort of around the same time as that or shortly after that I've played with and I've just decided I don't need so the first powder that is leaving my collection is this by Terry hyaluronic hydra powder and I got this about oh it's nearly two years ago I've kind of gone off those sort of silica based like HD powders and this is very like this is pretty much one of those sort of HD powders but a very expensive one um, I held on to it because it is by Terry and it's a bit luxy and it's a good powder in the sense that it will make your makeup last and it sets it really well but I always find these HD powders do actually look a little bit kind of the best word is like fuzzy on the skin it's not that they're drying because they're not but it's just that they look I guess they look quite matte and very just very powdery on the skin and I'm not actually a big fan of that so I've got a couple like that in this declutter um, and that's kind of the main reason why the next one I'm decluttering is this MAC prep and prime transparent finishing powder um, again I do have quite a few powders like this I did choose one to keep which you eventually you guys will see which one I chose um, which was my favorite 
out of all of them so there was no reason for me to hold on to this um, it worked perfectly fine but I wasn't wild by it um, sort of same reason as the by Terry um, and someone else can get a lot more use out of this because this is quite a new product so it's not expired or anything um, and I just felt like if I hold on to it I know I won't use it I've still got so many powders <laughs> even after this declutter so that one is going to a new home um, as well as this Mecha Max Life Proof Loose Powder. Now the, re the only reason I'm getting rid of this is that they also have the exact same sort of product in a pressed powder form and I decided to keep the pressed powder form um, just because it's it performs the same way and I like it for travel. It's a bit easier than, and less messy than a loose powder. So that's the only reason I'm getting rid of this um, is just because I, I do have so many powders and I'd rather keep the pressed one. And this can go off to a nice new home to someone that will love it, but it is a good product. So it's not that it's bad, that's not the reason I'm getting rid of it. And the next one is the Essence All About Matte Fixing Powder. Now I used this in my full face of Essence makeup video and I bought it purely for that video and I didn't mind it in it, it was perfectly fine powder. It's very similar to the Mecca Life Proof Pressed, which is the one that I decided to keep. So I'm starting to feel very frumpy. I was trying to go for that like effortlessly styled lob look but it just it, I don't know what my hair's doing. <laughs> the last powder I'm decluttering is quite a new one to me but I just can't get along with this powder. So this is one that I didn't enjoy and that's definitely like the reason why I'm getting rid of it. It's the Laura Gala Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation in Porcelain and this was one that I picked up on the Taylor's recommendation, although she recommended the Balance and Brighton in the same shade, I picked up the Balance and Glow. That very well might have been my mistake. However, I talked about this in another video and many of you had the same sort of problem as me where I feel like we're just too fair for this so and it comes off as very pink and maybe a touch dark on the skin um, that's the main thing for me is it makes my skin look quite ruddy it adds a lot of a pink cast to it which I don't love um, and if I want to neutralize a foundation that's maybe too yellow I'd rather mix in a bit of a pink foundation and actually get the foundation shade to be correct rather than going in with a yellow foundation and then on top with a pink powder like that's not how I like to do my makeup. After I'd done my sort of initial haul review of this I, it just sat there completely unused for another month or six weeks or however long it's been and I was like just bite the bullet and get rid of it now because it's a perfectly good product that someone else will enjoy um, and there's no point me keeping it just because I spent a lot of money on it. So then we're moving on to two foundations that I'm getting rid of. Um, as I said earlier I don't get rid of a lot of foundations because I like them for swatching purposes but one of these is very very old that it must be expired and the other one is just one that is not in the right shade so I would never use it really for swatching purposes and I wouldn't even be able to try it out formula wise for like a review so there's just no point. The first one is the MAC Full Coverage Foundation and this is in the shade W10 <laughs> and I've had this for about and I'm going to say five years, which is pretty gross because it's a cream product. This is basically the same product as the Studio Finish Concealer, but it's obviously a lot cheaper because you get so much more product. However, they don't make my shade in this full coverage foundation. In this Studio Finish Concealer, I use the shade NC10 and it is absolutely perfect, but they don't make that in this. They only make W10. And W10 is much, much, much too pink for me anyway to use all over. It's sort of starting to dry out and the texture's changing on it. It still smells okay, but I just, it's a cream product and it's very, very, very old. So I'm going to be throwing this one away because it's too old to donate. The next product though, I will be donating. I got this in February at the Priceline Beauty Prescription. Um, it is the Thin Lizzy Flawless Complexion Liquid Foundation. Now you guys will have seen me use this brush a lot in my videos. This is one that I've used quite a few times and you guys are like, where is that brush from? This came in a set with this foundation and I was gifted this. Like the Priceline Beauty Prescription is kind of like um, a PR event. So you go around and you just have samples given to you so I was given this kit but unfortunately the lightest shade in the foundation they have is oriental doll which is a good two shades too dark for me and it's yellow based so it's just really wrong um and it was really funny because the person who was like trying to color match me was like oh yeah that looks great and I was like sitting there like looking at the swatch on my neck being like uh are you blind the last three products I'm getting rid of are concealers the first one is by Benefit. This is their Boing Correcting Concealer. I got given this from a friend, another YouTuber 
who lives in Sydney and she was just going through drawers and finding double ups of things she had so I could try some stuff and I have used this in the past and I absolutely loved it but they've changed the formula a bit and it's a little bit darker than I think it used to be um, it is in shade one but it's, it's basically meant to be a peachy corrector but I tried it for a while and it is okay but I don't love it and it's not quite quite right for me just in terms of like depth and color wise I'm gonna give this one to a friend that maybe has a slightly deeper complexion than me um, and I'm gonna look to purchase a different corrector from maybe a different brand I'm quite keen on the Bobbi Brown one because I think they look really nice and they're little like the duo maybe with the concealer or something but uh, if you've got any recommendations for good correctors I always love to hear your suggestions as well so pop them in the comments the next concealer I'm decluttering is this essence one the stay all day 16 long lasting in the shade What's the shade? 10 Natural Beige. Now this I again bought for the Essence video and I bought two concealers and the other one I got was the Full Coverage Concealer. That concealer, even though that one is still a bit dark, it is a lot closer to my skin tone and it's a better undertone, it's more neutral, whereas this one is quite yellow. I decided I would just declutter this one because I don't really need to keep both. I didn't like the coverage on this one as much either, so I thought I don't really need both, um, I'd rather get rid of that one. And then the last concealer I'm getting rid of is this Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable in the shade 001 Light Ivory. Now I reviewed the foundation on this um, a while back, a few months ago, and I don't remember if I featured the concealer in it, but I did actually pick this up at the same time. And the actual color is pretty good, like you can see it's pretty fair, it's sort of a warm neutral shade, so it does lean a little on the yellow side, but not like super yellow. But my main beef was it with, with it is that it's called, it's a lightweight medium coverage concealer, but I would call it a light sheer coverage concealer this just doesn't have much coverage and while I love concealers that offer more of a medium coverage for lighter days especially under the eyes I don't need a heavy heavy coverage under there all that often but this didn't feel actually that lightweight and it didn't offer much coverage and the color was passable but not amazing color match so I felt like there was just no I was never gonna be reaching for this like I'd much rather reach my Too Faced Born This Way concealer which is a beautiful texture it is medium coverage so it feels quite lightweight um, but the color on the fairest shade is amazing so there's no point in me keeping this so it's going so I hope you enjoyed the first episode of this declutter series. In two weeks time I'll have another one. You'll be really looking forward to the next ones. This was probably the most like boring one out of the lot. I've got a highlighter category one which I've got a huge bag of ones that I'm getting rid of. Like my highlighter collection was out of control. So I'm sure you'll really enjoy that. I've got bronzers, blushes, eye products, lip products and brushes. So I might even have to squeeze a few extra videos in. I'm hoping to do one every two weeks so it doesn't feel like overload. But we'll see how we go. But if you did enjoy this and you're excited for the series, then don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It will really let me know that you actually want to keep seeing these videos. And until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful couple of days and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!